This tip on stress management uses a poem to make a point. The stress management tip shares one of Sam Walter Foss's poems, The Calf Path. Society has been changed by a number of factors, not the least of which is technology. Unfortunately, however, relationships have not improved in far too many situations using technology. People still continue to use ineffective approaches to influence others. Here are two former American giants who made the point that coercion is ineffective. Benjamin Franklin said to King George III after the passage of the Stamp Act, you cannot coerce people into changing their minds. Dwight David Eisenhower, former Supreme Commander of the United Nations Forces in World War II and former United States President, taught that the way to influence people is to have them do what you want them to do because they want to do it. Coercive approaches are ineffective to achieve this goal. To make the point that it is difficult to move from using coercive approaches to non-coerciveness, I share one of my favorite poems. Sam Walter Foss's The Calf Path makes the point that people follow in herds regardless of the ineffectiveness of what they follow. I'm especially referring to using coercion to influence people to change. Here's a calf path. One day through the primeval wood, a calf walked home as a good calves should, but made a trail all bent to skew. A crooked trail, as all calves do. Since then, 200 years have fled, and I infer the calf is dead. But still, he left behind his trail, and thereby hangs my moral tale. The trail was taken up next day by a lone dog that passed that way, and then a wise bellwether sheep pursued the trail over vale and steep, and drew the flock behind him too, as good bellwethers always do. And from that day, over hill and glade, through those old woods, a path was made. And many men wound in and out and dodged and bent and turned about and uttered words of righteous wrath, because it was such a crooked path. But still they followed, do not laugh, the first migrations of that calf. And through his winding woodway stalked, because he wobbled when he walked. This forest path became a lane that bent and turned and turned again. This crooked lane became a road where many a poor horse with his load toiled on beneath the burning sun and traveled some three miles in one. And thus a century and a half, they trod the footsteps of that calf. The years passed on in swiftness fleet. The road became a village street. And this before men were aware, a city's crowded thoroughfare and soon the central street was this of a renowned metropolis. And men two centuries and a half trod in the footsteps of that calf. Each day a hundred thousand rout followed the zigzag calf about, and over his crooked journey went the traffic of a continent. A hundred thousand men were led by one calf near three centuries dead. They followed still his record way and lost 100 years a day. And thus such reverence is lent to well-established precedent. A moral lesson this might teach where I ordain and call to preach, for men are prone to go it blind along the calf paths of the mind and work away from sun to sun to do what others may have done. They follow in the beaten track and out and in and forth and back and still their devious course pursue to keep the path that others do. But how wise old wood gods laugh who saw the first primeval calf. <laughs> Many things this tale might teach, but I am not ordained to preach. So here's a tip. Reflect before you follow others. Simply ask yourself, is what I am thinking of doing in my and society's best interests? More insightful tips on how to manage stress are in my third book of showing how to always be in control without coercion. Live Without Stress, How to Enjoy the Journey is available at withoutstress.com. You will learn how to manage your mind, reduce your stress, live longer, and enjoy life's journey. You will learn how the brain-body connection works so you can reduce your stress.
resolve conflicts, improve your relationships, and become more effective. Visit withoutstress.com to learn more. Thanks for watching and sharing this video. Until next time, live a stress-free life and visit withoutstress.com.